One of the most anticipated events this month, especially in the technology and finance sectors, is happening on November 20th. NVIDIA, NVDA, a leading force in artificial intelligence, AI, is about to release its latest earnings report and provide an update on what could be its next big growth driver. If investors are pleased with the results, this already skyrocketing stock, which has gained 186% so far this year through early last week, could soar even higher. NVIDIA has already impressed investors quarter after quarter. The company has consistently exceeded earnings estimates over the past four quarters, with profits growing in the triple digits. It has also maintained a gross margin above 70%. In addition, NVIDIA achieved significant milestones, including being added to the Dow Jones Industrial Average and briefly becoming the world's most valuable company earlier this month when its market capitalization surpassed Apple's. Clearly, investors are eager to hear what this industry leader has to say. However, we're not completely in the dark right now. NVIDIA, along with other companies, has already given us some clues. Here's what we can expect from the AI powerhouse on November 20th. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. The most sought after GPUs. Let's begin with a quick overview of Nvidia's recent journey. The company is known for selling some of the most in-demand graphics processing units, or GPUs. These chips are essential for powering key AI tasks, including training and running models. Nvidia's GPUs are known for their speed, making them the go-to choice for tech giants working on AI projects such as Microsoft and Meta platforms. This strong demand has resulted in huge earnings growth for NVIDIA in recent years. For instance, in its latest quarter, the company reported $30 billion in revenue. That's a record high, and it's actually more than the total revenue NVIDIA brought in during an entire year just a few years ago. The AI boom has certainly played a major role in driving NVIDIA's earnings and stock price higher. In fact, the stock has soared by 2,600% over the past five years. Now let's look ahead to what NVIDIA might say in its upcoming earnings report. In its last report, NVIDIA predicted that its fiscal 2025 third quarter revenue would be $32.5 billion. This would represent a double-digit growth compared to the same period last year. Although this growth is slower than recent triple-digit gains, it's not a sign of a slowdown. Given the rapid growth NVIDIA has experienced in recent years, the company's comparison periods are becoming more challenging. For example, last year, NVIDIA generated more than $18 billion in revenue during the third quarter, which is already a very high number. NVIDIA's gross margins. NVIDIA has also forecasted that its gross margins, both on a GAP and non-GAP basis, GAP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, will be 74.4% and 75% respectively in the third quarter of this fiscal year. Additionally, NVIDIA expects the full-year gross margin to be in the mid-70% range. This indicates that NVIDIA is extremely profitable on its sales, and the chart highlights how the company has consistently maintained these high margins over the past year. In their previous earnings report, NVIDIA also provided other reasons to be optimistic about the third quarter and beyond. The company mentioned that demand for its Blackwell architecture, set to launch in the fourth quarter, has already exceeded supply. This is a clear indication that customers are eager to adopt NVIDIA's new platform. Other earnings reports from major tech companies further support this trend. We have a wonderful partnership with NVIDIA said Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai during his company's recent earnings call. We're excited about the GB200s and we'll be one of the first to offer it at scale. Meta, a major user of NVIDIA GPUs, also mentioned in its earnings call that it is significantly increasing its investment in AI infrastructure, which has become the company's largest investment focus this year. Lastly, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing, the producer of NVIDIA's GPUs, 
reported double-digit revenue growth for the third quarter and highlighted strong demand from customers. Insane demand. The demand is real, and I believe it's just the start, said CC Wei, the CEO of Taiwan Semiconductor, during the earnings call. He also mentioned a statement from NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, who described the demand for the new Blackwell chip as insane. These insights from other companies in the industry suggest that NVIDIA will likely discuss the ongoing strong demand for Blackwell, and possibly for its current architecture, Hopper, as well. NVIDIA's earlier systems continue to perform well because all NVIDIA products are designed to work together seamlessly so they don't become obsolete. Companies focused on building out AI are investing quickly in whatever is available. Since NVIDIA is now in its fourth quarter, the period when Blackwell is expected to launch, the company may provide more concrete details about how things are progressing and share their revenue expectations for Blackwell. Are there any potential concerns in the upcoming report? It will be important to listen for comments about whether the issues faced by Super Microcomputer, a key equipment maker and NVIDIA customer, could affect sales or distribution of Blackwell systems in the near future. Additionally, while high demand is a positive, NVIDIA will need to ensure they can continue to meet the needs of all their customers. Any updates on that would be valuable. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.